Welcome into Dolphins today. I am Will Scott. We're getting you guys a Dolphins Bears preview on today's show. Dolphins coming in five and three after two straight wins. They have not lost when their star quarterback Tua Tagovailoa has started and finished the game. The Bears, meanwhile, coming in three and five, but they were destroyed by the Cowboys in Dallas last week. So they're looking uh, to bounce back here at home at Soldier Field. Game at one o'clock Eastern Time in Chicago, a game that the Dolphins should win. And on this preview, we're going to talk about keys to victory, players to watch, and also the injury reports for both teams. But first, I want to know, who do you got? You got the Fins? I, I better see a lot of MIAs in the chat. Or do you think the Bears are going to win this game? Type CHI for Chicago or type MIA for Miami down in the comments section. It's the Pins comment. Reply to it before you leave this video. Let's talk about the Dolphins' injury report first. Uh, this is coming from Wednesday's practice. We're recording this on Dolphins Live on Thursday, so we do not have the Thursday injury report yet. Teron Armstead did not participate with the toe. He, you know, he's fine. He just hasn't he hasn't really practiced all year, but he's played well when he's played. River Craycraft is sick, undisclosed illness. He did not participate. Neither did Austin Jackson with an ankle and calf. So AJ still working his way back. The good news is he was activated off IR. Jerome Baker, Tanner Connor, both limited, as well as Raquan Davis, Clayton Fagellum, Brandon Shell. Durham Smythe and Andrew Van Ginkle. Uh, they're limited on Wednesday. I'm not really too concerned about their status uh, going forward here. Javon Holland, Emmanuel Ogba, Zach Sealer, uh, Jalen Weil, and Christian Wilkins were all full participants in today's practice. Taking a look here at the Bears injury report, Larry Brown, Kyler Gordon, Eddie Jackson, and Tevin Jenkins all appeared on their injury report. Um, so again, for pretty much Pretty much all season, right? The Dolphins have had like a, a Walgreens receipt for their injury report, and the other team really hasn't had that many guys on the injury report. But there's 15 Dolphins on the injury report. Guys, we're going to be live for the game. You know how we roll. We have a live watch party for every single game. We're going to be going live a couple minutes, maybe 30, maybe 15. We'll see before kick. Go down, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications so you know when we go live. Let's talk about keys to victory here. Number one is to get to Justin Fields. Put pressure on Justin Fields. And guess who you have now that can do that? Bradley Chubb. You just traded for Bradley Chubb the other day. And you're ranked 21st in sacks right now, right? That's been a problem for your defense all year. Not putting enough pressure on the opposing quarterback. I want to see Chubbs, you know, go full throttle on Sunday. Don't limit his snaps. Let him play. Let him play at a high level. He's got five and a half sacks on the year coming into this thing. And then you also got Jeff Wilson Jr. at the trade deadline, which is why my second key to victory here is to utilize the run game. I want to see the Dolphins do that and do it well on Sunday. Right now you have the 28th ranked rushing offense in the league. There's no excuse for not having a better rushing offense going forward. Chase Edmonds is out. Jeff Wilson Jr. is in. And I know the depth charts that I've shown previously have had Jeff Wilson's RB1. I think it'll probably be like that before the end of the season. However, right now, this Sunday, I think that Raheem Mostert is going to be RB1, at least for this Sunday, as Jeff Wilson kind of uh, you know gets in the swing of things here. Jeff Wilson's averaged 5.1 yards per carry this year. Two touchdowns, 468 yards, 92 carries for Wilson this year in San Francisco. He was a really good RB1, but the, the thing was, they trade for McCaffrey. They just didn't really need Wilson anymore. They reunited him with his old OC, Mike McDaniel course the head coach in Miami now who's going to be the rushing leader in Sunday's game is it going to be Raheem Mostert or is it going to be Jeff Wilson type RM or type JW down in the comment section go down and let me know for Sunday I would say RM for the rest of the season I would I'd be typing JW number three key to victory here for Miami keep Tua hot Tua has been playing at a very high level this season don't mess with his confidence man just keep letting him do his thing, and Mike McDaniel and his coaching staff believe in him, and I fully expect Tua to go out there and have another good game on Sunday in Chicago. Here's what he did in Detroit last week. I mentioned this earlier, too, but I think start to finish, this might be the best game we've seen from Tua in a Miami uniform. Really didn't have any bad throws, didn't make any mistakes, completed 29 of 36 passes, 380 yards, three touchdowns, no picks for Tua. He was fantastic, and 
Let me tell y'all, if he hadn't missed two and a half games, he'd probably be the leading candidate for National Football League MVP right now. Those two games missed, though, uh, certainly not helping his chances. But who knows, if he goes out and puts up these numbers again on Sunday, he might work his way back into the conversation. And you can bet on the two of player props like I did last week and, and made some money. It's chatsports.com slash bet through BetUS. That's the promo code right there, Dolphins125 to pick up a 125% deposit. Bonus, chatsports.com slash bet. That's the promo code. Dolphins here are a five-point favorite. The total is at 45.5. I feel like that's a steal. I think the Dolphins are going to win this game by a lot more than five points. I'm taking the Dolphins, and I'm taking the over as well. I think the Dolphins put up a lot of points in this game. Hopefully the defense with Bradley Chubb can step up. Not only would you get that 125% deposit bonus, you're also going to get a free Tua Tungavailoa or Tyreek Hill jersey. Here's what you got to do. You got to go to that link and use that promo code. Sign up, deposit at least $100, and then make your first bet. Send a screenshot of your bet slip and your account number through BetUS to jersey at chatsports.com. Let us know what jersey you want, either a Tua jersey or a Tyreek jersey. Let us know, jersey. Let us know the color, the size, your address, and we will send you a free jersey. It's the best deal in the history of deals. Go and take advantage of it. We only bring this back when the Dolphins are on a win streak. Right now, they're on a two-game win streak. So we have brought the BetUS jersey deal back. Email that email for more information, jersey at chatsports.com. Number four key to victory here. Keep the foot on the gas. You are a better football team, right? There's no excuses for not winning this football game and doing it decisively. And, you know, the Dolphins dug themselves into a hole last week. Luckily, they got out of it, but they got to start fast in this game and then keep the foot on the accelerator. You're so much better than the Chicago Bears. Go out there and show it. Dominate the football game on offense. Dominate on special teams. Dominate on defense as well. I think the Dolphins will do that. Number five, key to victory here, burn their secondary. The Bears' defense surprisingly has put up decent numbers in the secondary. They're number five in the league in passing defense, but they've never faced an offense like the Miami Dolphins. You've got Jalen Waddell and Tyree Kill on opposite ends of the field, and they're two. They're two. Uh, you have two wide receivers in the top four right now in National Football League in receiving yards. Tyreek is first. Jalen Waddell is fourth. Five touchdowns on the year for the Penguin, two touchdowns on the year for Tyreek, and then look at Yak. We knew coming in the Dolphins would be all about yards after the catch, nearly 300 yards for both of those guys in that category, and I just don't think the Bears are going to be able to match up with the best wide receiver duo in the league. I'm feeling really good about the Dolphins uh, putting up a lot of points in this game. So those are my keys. Number one, get to Justin Fields. Number two, utilize the run game. Three, keep to a hot. You know, he's been playing so well. Number four, Foot on the gas, man. Foot on the gas pedal. Number five, take advantage of that secondary. Yeah, they put up decent numbers, but he got Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. Let's focus now on players to watch in this football game. Break down five Dolphins players to specifically keep an eye on. Number one is Bradley Chubb, right? He is the newest member of this defense. I think he's going to play a really big role in this game, maybe record a sack or two against Justin Fields. I think Justin Fields is going to have nightmares this week thinking about going up against Bradley Chubb. Mike McDaniel confirmed that both Chubb and Wilson Jr. are going to play in this game. You just trade for those two guys. I'm curious to see, you know, what the workload is for Wilson. Are they just going to kind of work him in slowly or let him go full throttle and kind of split the carries with Mostert in this game? And then Tyreek Kill, can he sustain the level of success that he's had, I think yes. I think Tyreek goes for over 150 yards in this game, which is not even a hot take because he's done it in a lot of games this year. Then Robert Jones coming at number four here. So Liam Eikenberg is out for a uh, you know considerable amount of time, at least the next four games. Robert Jones is going to slide into that left guard spot, and he's been better than Eikenberg this year. So I'm, I'm excited to watch him in a starting role for once. And then to a tongue of my law. Can he keep it up? Can he keep producing on offense, I think so. He's getting more confident. You saw that press conference the other day when he was like, hey, did y'all notice my deep balls got a lot better? I love cocky too. I love confident to him. He's certainly feeling it right now. Again, who do you got? Or predict the score. Bears or Dolphins? Go down in the comment section. Let me know. Predict the score. Who's going to win? What is the score going to be? I got the Dolphins winning 33-13. to I think this is going to be a beatdown in Chicago. I think the Dolphins 
are going to get the job done here. I'm taking the Dolphins to win the game 33-13 to over the Chicago Bears. I think they start fast, finish strong, get the win in Chicago, and improve to 6-3 and on the 2022 season.